Hey there, we're a couple of creeps. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Zach and this is Alyssa. So today we are reviewing our second Marion Dora film, which is Melancholy Der Engel. Or The Angel's Melancholia. I'll preface this video saying that we recorded a whole entire review of this already. <laughs> yes. And it was mostly just me yelling at the camera because I didn't like this movie. So we decided to do a second one because my darling wife here calmed me down and was like, be nice. <laughs> no, I said, listen, we spoke We spoke with anger. Yeah. We need to speak with compassion. Yeah. If you haven't seen this before, honey, I'll tell them what it's supposed to be about. Yeah, you do that, darling. It's about a guy who finds out he doesn't have very much longer to live, so he reconnects with an old friend, and they go to their old house with some ladies and a creepy old dude, and they just do a bunch of nasty, debauchery, moral mayhem nonsense interspliced with animal cruelty slash pig slaughter slash religious... D deprav depravity? Yeah, with, there's some nuns in there. And that's pretty much it. That, that really is kind of the whole movie. We talked about how it feels like a music video in a way. Which, I, you know, I've said before. I say that a lot. I've said that before. But it's true. Why do extreme horror films kind of read like music videos? They don't really follow that traditional structure of conventional films. And does that make it extreme? I mean, if you're just shooting imagery and just like putting dead animal carcasses in front of the camera or a nun getting naked in, in, in a church or there was it's not so much storytelling but image showing right and you know they may be extreme images but like i just where does the shock value come in i feel like i would be more shocked if you had all of these things in the movie but then you followed a very strong narrative with like character development and stuff but, you know, we talked about it a long time ago in our videos. Where's that line? Like, if you focus a certain amount on character development and storytelling, it seems that, like, a lot of times you start to lose the extreme aspect to a film as if you can't focus on both. It's all, No, it's always about balance. Any talented filmmaker knows that balance. Extreme horror films, they can focus on the extreme... Or they can focus on the story, and really, really good ones can focus on both. That's with any genre of film. Mm -hmm. We really struggled with this because it was so long. It's nearly three it's hours. It's nearly three long. hours, and like we just said, there really isn't a plot to follow, and it just is very like daunting to watch. Not because of the extreme content, which we've seen a lot at this point in the show, so we're not trying to be like, mm, but. We had to wait a while for really anything to happen. There were a few times throughout the movie where I was like, okay, it's going to pick up now. Like, this is, <laughs> this is something that, like, I haven't seen yet. This is something that's kind of making me uncomfortable. And I was like, man, if the movie keeps escalating like this for the rest of the runtime, I'll be impressed. Like, or I'll think it's extreme like i don't know but it's very it's the runtime really is a struggle and you just get these tiny little spurts of extreme content and then it just like mellows out I don't relatively think extreme happened until well past an hour and a half yeah honestly i mean there's a good the first third they, they squashed a salamander, which I wasn't cool with. Right. But other than that... The first third of it, there's like a 45-minute walking scene mm -hmm. where they just are alternating between four different characters and all of them are just walking through a field different and going in different directions. Yeah. I mean, it was painfully long to sit through that. And you just are thinking like, oh, what? What is extreme about this movie? We get to the point where... We realize this is just a movie about a bunch of dirty German hippies who sit in this house and do a bunch of weird stuff to each other. And it's three hours long. There's some new things for us that we haven't seen before. There's a guy pooping on a girl in her nether regions. Yeah. There's uh, um, a, an amputee. Or an amputee. There's a paralyzed woman. Yeah. 
It was a colostomy bag that's taken off and violated by a man. And that scene was a lot. I felt like that scene was probably the most extreme in the movie. It was the newest for us anyway, but if this if you've never seen this before, just expect like the Manson family, but German. <laughs> ah, <laughs> so yeah, dirty. <laughs> yeah, I think it really just goes on for too long. Yeah, I think that's the problem. Yeah, this was too long, nothing to follow. Didn't really impress us story-wise. The um, lead character is pretty mopey and whiny and loneliness is existence, life is pain, yeah. what's the point? The entire movie. It all kind of feels very pretentious. sappy. Like the director is sort of just musing on things, but then they don't really have a point to it. Uh, and then he just sort of inter intercuts all of this animal cruelty and weird German behavior and stuff. And it's all, it all just seems kind of pointless, really. Yeah, um, I would say from a less angry point of view that if you're trying to get more into extreme horror and you have the time, I think the la the third act, if you can call it a third part, yeah, is really the most concentrated of extreme footage. Not even story. Not even story footage. That's right, just, just things that you're not going to see. You will not see this kind of stuff in yeah. rated R horror, like, at all. Maybe not even in American horror specifically. Yeah. But overall, we were kind of disappointed because the, you know, the name attached to it and the notoriety this movie has in the crowd. But honestly, we're just kind of... Cannibal is a better film, I think. You liked Cannibal more. I liked Cannibal more. And I wasn't a huge fan of it the first time, you know, when we watched it for our video... But comparatively to this, I think that I just, Cannibal is just, it's just better in my opinion. Mm -hmm. This was just like a little too much. So we still have Carcinoma to review from Mary and Dora. And then I think there's one, there's a Voyage to Agitus or something. I don't know how you say it. I got this. I don't know how you say it. And docu documentary debris something i don't know but i own carcinoma so that'll come through eventually from mary and dora hopefully not next season yeah but hopefully it's you know better than this one yes. so thank you for tuning in this week to couple of creeps if you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment below if you have suggestions or like let us know your thoughts on the angel's melancholia tell us if you like it or if you don't like it haven't seen it whatever if you don't like it you know, be a champion for us. Just be like, yeah. Yeah, I don't you like tell them. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos. Mm -hmm. And until next time, don't, don't watch, watch this, this movie. movie.